In today's video, I'll be showing a recent experiment of mine. I had a lot of fun with this drawing. This is a very different type of project for me. For this piece, I actually used colored pencils on sanded paper and blended with a product called Powder Blender and a workable texture spray. Working with the Powder Blender on sanded paper allowed me to be really sketchy with my pencil lines and I did not have to work in the small ovals to get a very smooth and blended look like I usually do. it just smooths out the pencil like the really sketchy lines were never there. And this is when I fell in love with this product. I think that the powder blender is going to be a real game changer for my color pencil artwork. It allowed me to change my mind about the composition and hide what I did not like. A few layers later and it was like that dark tree branch I thought would look good was never even there. also worked great for fine details. I was a bit worried that I would not be able to get small details in the bird or the leaf veins, but I was again very pleasantly surprised. The project is a little small, it's only about 8 by 10 inches, but I'm very impressed by how much detail and color saturation I was able to achieve. super bright white areas on the flowers, I used my trusty mixture of touch-up texture and titanium white powder. Using the white helped the flowers to pop off the page and stand out from the lighter areas of the background. about my experience using this new technique. I noticed that after using several layers of the texture spray that some areas of my piece started to crack and the pigment flicked off the page. I think that that was most likely user error though. I think I might have just gotten a little too heavy-handed with the spray as I'm new to using the product and I don't often use fixatives with my work. If I had used a little less spray I think I could have avoided the cracking altogether as I've not heard of this issue happening to other artists with a little bit more experience using the product. However, I am really happy with how this piece turned out and I am excited to use it again in the future. I will list all the supplies I use in the video description and let me know what you think of the drawing in the comments. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more art.